Hi, my name is Alexey Borisenko. We continue to discuss new features in our Cisco DevNet platform. Today we are going to talk about AI-driven semantic search and summarization with Nilesh Pateria, a principal engineer at Cisco. Hi, Nilesh. Hey, thank you for inviting me. I'm Nilesh Pateria. I'm principal engineer at DevNet Engineering. I look at architecture for DevNet, DevNet platform. So today I'm excited to share one of the feature that we have building semantic search. Yeah, awesome. As I know, you can show us some demo today. Am I right? Yeah, I'm going to show so some of your demo, like of some new features that we have built. Uh, the feature is semantic search. Uh, one of the key thing is like with this semantic search right now, we are launching with Meraki as a pilot, then we would be extending further. So you can go to Meraki API documentation and continue searching Meraki documentation. One of the key difference that you will find is you can use now natural languages, not just a six, one or two keywords. So you can write full sentences. Internally, we use uh, AI and LLM to interpret this um, context of your information. So you can go to Meraki API documentation and start searching. Uh, you can now you can write like full natural languages like update L3 firewall setting when you do this. Uh, we interpret what is the context and what all information you are looking at. Here we are looking at we are interested in finding L3 firewall rules and want to update it. And then finally, we want to see that how we want to use this particular API. So one you would see improvement on the API listing site. So you, you find that all the real relevant APIs are on the top of list because it's interpreted and find and match based on semantic search. Then on the right hand side, uh, we also do the summarization, which is like we top the top results of these things and pass it to AI to summarize it. So you don't have to browse through each of this, these results and can, uh, can see the finally key content of those output, which you may be interested in. You can even adjust your queries. Say, for example, I want to see Python code, hopefully. Some of these are AI, so hopefully it would work. Uh, let's see. So now we are just reinterpreting that query to generate the, extract the Python sample code out of it. Rather than, because one of the challenges with AI is like it generate or hallucinate about the code. In this case, uh, okay, in this case it didn't work. Let's try some other queries. Um, let's say if you want to get a camera snapshot. Now this is the Meraki camera. If you want to generate the camera snapshot API, uh, again, like you can see like the very first API it has understood. Uh, this is the camera API and this is the Python SDK sample code for generating the camera snapshot. Yeah, am I right that on, on the left side we have like semantic search that uh highlight related API operation to the request and on the right side uh, there's also like generative AI uh, that uh, describe uh, how you can exactly use this API operation. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like so internally when you type there is a lot happening. We interpret your query using AIs because what is the meaning of your query? We are not looking for the specific terms which was done traditionally. We are looking for the complete query meaning and trying to match that query meaning with with uh, content meaning and whichever is most relevant matching that is strong. And then we are using AI to summarize the, that content and give you like most meaningful output answer on the right hand side. And we have done a lot of UX, UX improvement also. Like earlier, we just used to show you API. But now we show API as well as what is the endpoint to endpoint URL for this API. In addition to this, we also show you what is the navigation path of this API in the document because Meraki has almost 600 to 700 API and it's very difficult to find which specific API you are looking for. 
So we also tell you like in, in Merapi, you can go to camera, monitor, analytics, live for going to this API, which is your left navigation mapping. So that's additional metadata information that would help you identify right API. Not only this, uh, we also went ahead and uh, let me rerun that query. Again, update L3 firewall setting. Many times you want to see what are the related sample code or learning labs for this particular example. So in this case, uh, if you just to go to the additional tag, you can find the most relevant learning labs and code exchange. Let's look at this learning lab. In this case, uh, this is learning lab, which will tell you how to read L3 firewall rule and update L3 firewall rule. Right, so you can do a step by step guide to execute these things, this particular API. And if some some community member have also contributed a code exchange repository, that repository is also now available here. Uh, so you can go and see what what this particular uh, open source code repository does. In this case, it updates L3 fire rule of an MX network. Uh, and then you can try it out this particular sample repository. So what we are trying to do is not only provide you, reach you to most recent or meaningful API documentation, but also whatever relevant content that you have in DevNet that, that is also highlighted out here. Yeah, it's awesome. It can help for developers to understand the scope and also yeah. finding uh, some related learning labs. Now, what about yeah. sandboxes? Um, does it link with uh, or can suggest sandbox uh, as well? Or yes, it would suggest whenever it's relevant. So it's any 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 DevNet content would be highlighted here if it's relevant to this particular scenario. It's based on queries. It's not generic Merapi. It's based on this query. If sandbox, uh, yeah, you can use, it would also list. It would prioritize based on like how relevant that content is. So all of those other content, including sandbox would be listed out here. Yeah. Um, how does uh, the semantic search engine interpret uh, the meaning and the context of queries to provide more relevant results than traditional um, just keyword search, for example? Yeah, so let's look at the architecture diagram for this. So, so this is like in, uh, earlier, traditionally, if we look, traditionally, most of the search were keyword based index. What that means is when we index any document or any content, we find the most relevant keyword and number of occurrences of that keyword. For example, you may find firewall and in a document and it occurs like 20 times. That means, okay, this is document related to firewall. And when user queries, it matches firewall to firewall and returns this thing. So this is how typically keyword based index works. And this is what is used across industries. But last year or so, uh, as AI LLM evolved, uh, there is a new technique which is called semantic search, which has evolved. In this technique, what we do is rather than using keywords, we use AI or large language model. Yeah, so I think this is summarization feature is extension of that where we just take the top entries, pass it on to LLM saying, okay, these are top five entries. Can you make the meaningful answer? Out of it. This is where LM, LM is an expert. It can summarize and give you meaningful answer. Uh, what we are doing is we are right now not generating code on based on this. We are extracting because for our API documentation, we have very good sample snippet. So we extract those sample out of that example, out of that document and show those samples. Uh, so that's why you can see it's relevant. But as with LLM, AI, it's still evolving field. We shouldn't use it in production. You should review and then you can experiment with those code. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, you mentioned that uh, for summarization, uh, uh, you utilize Mixtral. 
open source model yeah yeah so so technology wise what we are doing is we are running on aws so aws there is a bedrock service which is like hosted llm models so we are using various models say for aws embedding we are using aws bedrock titan model which is good for embedding generation but for summarization we are using mistral model we also keep experimenting with various models like cloud 3 and many other models and 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 right now we have find good output with mistral but this is very fast evolving field so we would be keeping updating the model to keep improving the responses as as this field evolves so we we are using uh, open search in this case there are multiple vector database but i think you can evaluate those vector database based on your your requirement but in our case one of the key deciding factor was we are already on open search we just wanted to create another index and continue going on so that was the main criteria for selecting open search you know yeah so uh, for now for our uh, developers for um, our network community they don't need to go to uh, api documentations and to code samples uh, um, copy paste it using in their own um, i don't know uh, llm provider they can just use developer.sesca.com uh, search site uh, on meraki and all this information already prepared uh, chunked uh, and add it to database and they can work with all this documentation together and receive uh, very updated uh, results am i right yeah yeah so we we are right now doing like extraction of the sample code we are not so i would be like i think we want to say as llm is evolving code generation is also evolving so at this point we do not generate very complex scenario right because that is where not even ai llm is it's evolving field we would be supporting in future and we are working toward it for now for single api or for simpler scenarios we can you can try and experiment uh, this simple code generation or code extraction what we are calling so, so you can extract the code for a specific api and this should work a lot of these code are actually already present if you if you go to any specific api documentation and then code snippet right we have meraki python code curl uh, python and many other code so i think we are extracting at this point of time code from your content of course there is some minor modification can be done using llm but uh, at in this particular release we are well, we are claiming we are extracting not generating the complex scenario simple code yeah i have some and my last question um you all develop this tool and you also test these tools um what's your uh, like feeling about uh, uh is it uh, overperform traditional keyword search uh, how many times um, you can save using these tools? Yeah, so I think we have done extensive testing on top on this. Uh, we have done is like we have analyzed all the past queries and compared the results of past queries to the with the updated results. So we build an automated framework for doing that uh, output analysis of previous queries to this queries. The one is like top matching results. So Definitely, there is a lot of improvement. Earlier, we have heard like there is a lot of redundant information given with keyword search, especially with long queries. Now we have seen like even if you put longer queries, it extract only the meaningful responses or meaningful content. Yeah, I have some things. Uh, we will add a link to this documentation and semantic search uh, to, the, to the description to this video as well as uh, to your uh, blog post with technical information. Thank you, Nilesh.